You look beautiful, Mary. Mr. Blenner has it. What a wonderful job you've done. Brock Blenner has it. The memorial photographer himself. Detective Frederick Regan. There's been a couple of deaths. Suicide, it appears. But the bodies were posed in the exact same position. Has much changed? No, Miss Vickers. We're smoking a lot more. Uncle, I want to be an actress. Oh. And they will mock me for it at home, just like they mocked you. Have you brought the photograph? That was nearly, nearly great for you, so. I was wondering, Mr. Blenner, has it, if you're in need of assistance. Photography is an area I would love to gain experience in. You have beautiful handwriting, right now. It seems I'll have an assistant again. Change might do me good. Bring a bit of life to the place. You shouldn't be here. Mama! You made it stop! Ivor! Ivor! He's escaped! Ivor! Mama! You made it stop! Mama! Ivor, where are you? Mama! You're overdoing it. You'll be visiting the homes of the recently bereaved. Don't put on a show. Just do the job quietly and promptly. That's all he wants. I'm just sure of this because... I used to assist my uncle for a time when I was younger. Jeez, I can't imagine him allowing a young one to do this. In his own well-orchestrated way, having a child there helped. Created a softer impression of him. And I was terribly cute. So why'd you stop assisting? Well, he didn't need me anymore, he said. Shut himself off for years from the world, from his family. Anyway, an injury seems to have softened him somewhat. So, we should probably get to know each other now that we're working together. What do you do for fun, Malloy? I love to sketch. And read. Could have walked along the canal, gets me blood pumping. Spare me. All right. Let's see if your boring reliability leads to some good advice. I've been invited to a party later. Congratulations. Thank you. I haven't been to any parties in town, so I'm very excited to be around lots of people all at the same time. Socially, it'll be quite the change. Well, I hope it'll be good crack. Yes. Crack. But do you think it's safe travelling out, especially with the storm, too? What storm? That storm. I don't envy you two trying to get out to Kingstown in that. <laughs> Don't snake up on me like that, Roper. See? It's not nice, is it? Your old lady isn't nice. Yeah. What are you doing tonight? Ah, pushed. Read the paper, go to bed, I'd say. Do you remember your man I had you tailing? Cannon. The widower. With them scandalous pamphlets he was circulating. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that many nipples before in my life. I bet you haven't. Anyway, he's throwing a party tonight that I want to keep an eye on. There's this communist making a nuisance of himself around the town the last few days, Chorney, and he's been funding his travels by selling these photographs. Things the good people of Ireland wouldn't like seeing. Can't see how a few how photographs would warrant keeping G-men out in that storm. I thick it, storm. I had an appointment with Dinner Hassett. What do you want with him? If anything big happens, I, I want a photographer on the scene straight away. I don't want to be looking at your shite drawings. Hurry now, Malloy. That dead child will not photograph himself. 
Are they packed all right, sir? No, we seem to be learning the line. I'm very reassuring. Thank you, sir. I did make an appointment, like you said, Miss Vickers. Yes, but we're in a hurry to get to Kingstown, Detective. So I won't be making tea. I'm going for tea. Won't take long. Fuck! Um, I have a business proposition, sir. Hmm. Maybe there's a crime. And I call you and you come down straight away and you photograph the scene. Oh, so you want to harm me? Is that it? Well. With the promise of paid work at the brass. <laughs> I don't work for nothing, you know. I could use your expertise. People have commissioned you all over Ireland for the past 20 years. Well, not so much now, but... Uh... Business is going well, thank you. You were a pioneer in your particular field of photography. I don't think so, yes. And when it comes to crime scene photography, I'd like to see some pioneering done. No one photographs the dead better than you. No one. And in my line of work, the dead are plentiful. Hmm. Crime scene photography. That's it. Exactly. It's there for the taking. I'm after discovering this underground photo trade. And photography is getting more and more popular, and people are interested in seeing the most square things. And there's plenty of people in Dublin who wouldn't be long making money out of it. So, if photography can be a tool for the criminal, I'd love to see us make it a tool for the law. Hmm. Well, Detective, I appreciate your forward thinking and your evident enthusiasm, but if the law wants to use my expertise, I'm afraid the law's going to have to pay for it. So good day to you, sir. You can't tell me I'm overdoing it and then have me do everything all at once. I'm opening this door one time and one time only. I'm not getting any more stress. Let me know if you change your mind. I will come running. Thank you, Nancy. Get home safe, Uncle. Go on, lad. Go on. I should very well hope so. This is miles outside of Kingstown. I know who. Lucinda Breslin. This is my husband, August. Thank you for travelling to us, Mr. Blenner Hassett, especially with this weather approaching. Huh? Such efforts are necessary in troubling times. Huh? I'm so sorry for your loss. Huh? Such a horrible way to lose a child. There's worse ways, Mr. Blenner Hassett. Much, much worse. Well, yes, I... I suppose there are. <laughs> well, I'll be... I'll be done in no time. Is there, um, somewhere for my coachman to wait? Uh, oh. oh, he... He can't wait here. Stables, perhaps? We don't have any... No horses, not anymore. I'm afraid... He will have to wait in the town until he's needed. It's not safe here with the storm coming. Right. Well. Carruthers, return within the hour. I'm sure you can find something to distract yourself with in the town. Yes, sir. I will drink. Good man, Carruthers. Uh, and, um, Malloy, hurry up, please. The 
holds his toy bear tight for... for comfort. Bindi. I only just got him. Mr. Blenner has it. Hey, there's no sign of Crudder, sir. Strange. He's usually punctual, especially when he's been drinking. Maybe it's a storm. Your assistant may need to walk into Kingstone to summon him. Our coachman recently lost his horse. Lost, as in? The horse was struck by lightning. Please hurry, Malloy. Yes, Mr. Blennerhassey. More tea, Mr. Blinder, has it? Um, not for the minute, thank you. Quite the weather we're having. Lucinda, come quickly! Please excuse me. You were blown into two ditches. No, I was blown into the same ditch twice. It's lethal out there. Well, no carriage. No means to call for a carriage. It looks like you gentlemen may need to spend the night. Yes. I suppose. Please excuse us if we have not been the most convivial hosts. Of course. You're in mourning. Yes. Funeral preparations will need to be delayed. And we will endeavor to make you as comfortable as you possibly can be. Mr. Malai, you can take off your wet clothes. In your quarters. Of course. But all, all to myself. Yes. August, he can have a spare pair of your night clothes. Yes. The blue ones. Give yes. him the blue ones. Vicente? Vicente? 
Chen to escort Mr. Malloy to his room. Yes, madam. Come with me, please. Only that which is locked down will be safe tonight. French money runs a small print press. Recently widowed. A mess, to be honest. And I'm so glad that you're here. They're insufferable, all of them. If it wasn't for that storm, I'd be at home with Mother and my book. What are you reading? Little men. <laughs> don't look presentable. Nancy, you're a vision. But really, don't worry about it. You might think you're missing out on a fabulous social life in town, but honestly, it's the same bloody charade all the time. Just gadabouts everywhere. What kind of gadabouts? Well, your brother and everyone he pals around with. Oh, of course he'd be here. Does Mother know you're out? I invited her, Henry. She's my guest. No, honey, you're my guest. The guest doesn't get a guest. Is this the first party you've ever been to? It is, isn't it? Stop being mean to your sister. It is, though, isn't it? <laughs> Haven't had a chance. I've been minding grandmother since she had her stroke. Well, that's your excuse for everything. Well, Bags, you not carrying you out of here in your buckled arse face. Dairymen are the worst kind. Neil Cherney, an old friend of Cannon's. Communist. Trades and dirty photographs, or so Henry told me. I don't think there's a connection, the communism and the dirty pictures, but anyway, he's a creep. All right. Let's have a few drinks and call some action. Louis Cannon, I am so pleased. You are Henry's lady friend. I'm Hannah, and Henry is my man friend, yes. And you are? I am Nancy, Henry's sister. Thank you for hosting us, Mr. Cannon. And my sister, but you look so much like my dead wife. Only when she was dead? Louis, Louis, you gas devil, you pay no attention to these two. They'll tell you the most horrid stories about me. Let me tell you them myself. I really don't know how you put up with my brother. He's a lot of fun, Nancy. No one in my family is fun, and I believe you me. Except for you, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> the Spanish maid's a nervous creature, isn't she, Malloy? Yeah, do you think they were giving her a lashing? Well, they're the lashing type. I knew a Spanish fella. Worked down the docks. He was the clumsiest bastard I've ever met. Uh. Get a good night's rest, Malloy. I want us out of here as soon as this infernal storm has subsided. Yes, sir. Duly noted. Your quarters. Ah. Yeah. Lock your doors, please. Did he stir? No. Thank God. Jesus. That's an unmerciful whore of a night out there. Got a chance at all? Not a whore, boy. There's no way you're going out in that. Uh, it's a juicy gathering, Betty. A couple of troublemakers I want to keep my eye on. And is it worth getting blown into the canal for? The Linus, the Saul. I know you're thirsting for a big case, Fred, but be smart about it. You're looking for murders and suicides, looking at harmless foreign creatures as subversives. 
There was that poor lamplighter you thought was poisoning Porter and you beat him on up and down the coombe. Yeah, well, he was a lippy fuck. What I'm saying is, sometimes you just have to work with what's in front of your eyes. What if I'm right? Then you take the bastards down. Any store? Oh, bollocks. Isn't it? Party chit chat, I mean, small talk. Really need to get some dancing going. Your mind's been in a tow if the opportunity arises. What's your name? Why do you want to know my name? So I can match it to that pretty face. <laughs> What's your name? Pretty face. <laughs> Honestly, spare me. Drive in this party up and we'll start talking. Nancy, I see that you've met Percy. Nancy, lovely name. Percy's a forward lad, is he? So Percy can't take your hand and kiss it then? No. Please don't kiss my hand, Percy. Percy won't do that then. Percy's a sculptor. Are you, Percy? Percy, are you? Sorry, I... I got distracted by a man who owes me money. Larry Curve, I'm not... No, the bastard's good for it. What, 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 what were you saying? And what is it you sculpt? I'd sculpt you if you want. Well, good for you. But I'm terrible at sitting still. <sighs> Fine, I proceed. Mr. Van Hasset, I am so scared. What did I just say? I saw an apparition. We were told to stay in our rooms. The corridor is haunted. Yes, it's haunted by you. There's someone at my door. Yeah, I know the feeling. They declined to leave a chamber pot. Go and do me. I don't, I don't need to know that. I saw the boy. Which boy? The dead boy. Young Ivor. Go back to your room at once. You sound to you. <gasps> no, my lawyer. I screamed and dragged you into my room for no good reason. But he's dead. But he isn't. He's certainly courteous. Mr. Plenar Hassett.
Why are you both in here? Uh, well, I, I had, I, I needed to go well, into the lawyer. The lawyer got frightened and um, called upon me. You don't have to tell us. He's screaming. I woke us. I, I didn't mean to scream. Uh, that well, that only happens if I'm frightened, and like, I just. I, 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 I stop talking. Um, Malloy suffers from the night terrors, and um, it's just very sad, poor lad. The last few days have been difficult for us, with the death of our son and that whole tragic affair. We appreciate that the roaring storm doesn't allow you much peace. But if you can refrain from screaming in our house, we would be truly grateful. Yeah. Of course. My apologies. I hope the rest of your sleep will be a peaceful one. I really do. Thank you. Good night. We should take a photograph of him. I have already taken a photograph of him. But not if the boy's ghost, you haven't. Ghost? Listen to yourself. Lightning causes our sight to become impaired. We see things we wouldn't normally see. Colors, shapes, visions. Ghosts. Ghosts in a photograph. Just think of what that would do for your reputation. I will tell you what would do my reputation in a world of good. Not believing in ghosts. Go back to bed. Good night, my lord. Master? Did you see something, Vicente? I heard something. What is the meaning of this? Ah, oh, something's not right. It's not right. Look, that boy's dead. I'm sure, but he's also... Look, he's not dead. All at once, that I'm also sure of. This is very upsetting. You see? You're upsetting my wife. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to upset anyone. I'm just, I'm just trying to take a picture of the apparent apparition. Of our deceased son? Yeah. Of your deceased son. I want you to leave. My apologies, sir. I'm being very insensitive. Uh, I'll, I'll just return to my room. I want you to leave our house. In that storm? You actually did it. You did it? Why did I think he wouldn't do it? I want this man out. Ah, uh, here, you can't throw me out in that weather. That's, that's fair. Now, Mr. Breslin. I really would not be the kind of photographer to complete a commission for someone who was going to put my assistant out into the middle of a dangerous storm with little consideration. It is not good business. He is upsetting my wife. He is upsetting me. We are upset. Oh, I'm 
Next, you make our bereavement into some sort of macabre ghost story. We are doing our best to be good hosts in what is a very difficult time. I will take full responsibility for my assistant's silly behavior and wish to assure you that it will not happen again. Very well. Vicente! Accompany these men to their quarters. Can this vision get by you immediately? Not unless you give me a kiss. Do I have to give you a kiss too? Surely. <laughs> you have something belonging to me, you thieving devil. What are you talking about? You took a photograph from that album at a little private showing. A private showing? Of what? Fake photographs you stole from that party you were not invited to. I was a guest of a guest, I'll have you know. You know where there's money to be made and you saw your chance. There are photographs ripped out of it. You're calling me a thief? I'm calling you more than a thief, you thieving car! Gentlemen, let us resolve this matter in a study with some drinks. Maybe a naughty little dash of laudanum. Huh? Mm hmm? Very well. Sounds good to me. This is probably a good time to mention that I really don't think this is the sort of fella I want to be trapped in a house with during a storm, as he attempted to forcefully kiss me. That's my sister, you bastard. Open the door, I'll throw him. You can't throw him out in a storm, Henry. Well, I won't throw him if he gives back what he stole. What I stole? You stole it! You are a bloody troublemaker! I think that's quite enough, Henry. Well, that was quite rousing. Yes, it was. No, 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 no. Not for little girls. <laughs> <laughs> this must be so nice for you to be out of that cage. Henry doesn't know himself since he's been away. Honestly, Hannah. I feel like I'm alive for the first time. Not at all. Come here to me, little Winship. <laughs> Glad to answer you, friend. Atrocious footwork. Give us a whirl. Give yourself a whirl. <laughs> no, damn it. That was my first kiss, and I wasn't even ready. I'm sorry, I was a bit quick on the dive in there, wasn't I? Well, look, you've done it now. So, you might as well make the best of it. This is Samuel. Samuel. No. Wait, so can you all see the boy, yeah? Yes. Yes. So, 
He's a twin. He has been wild in the brain since he was born. More animal than boy. He's been getting out of the nursery a lot more recently. I knew my locks couldn't have been the problem, but... Now I know what you did, Vicenta. You loosed him, didn't you? And he pursued his own brother. I only let him out to play with Ivor. You're upsetting me now, Vicente. If you treat a child like an animal, then he will act like an animal. Just because he's different, he's still a child. Wild in the brain is what he is. A cruel shame on his family. I know, Samuel, you'll be safer in the nursery, away from this cruel world. <laughs> Do not let him escape! Teddy Bear Bindi. They took it from him when he didn't eat his gruel. They gave it to Ivor. Oh, you are dismissed, Vegenta. Out into the storm, Mucho. Oh, will you ever relax and stop trying to throw people out into the storm? from a cruel world. He would not even be alive if it wasn't for us. If it wasn't for you, that poor young fellow wouldn't be in such a state. I'll be fetching the police at first light, make no mistake. Oh, no, 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 no police. Uh, uh, we'll gladly pay you three times the agreed fee, and, and, and we'll leave it at that. It is cruel and heartless to lock up a poor damaged boy like that. No, we pay three times the agreed sum if your discretion is assured. What I would like to be assured of is that you will pay for the future care of this child. Future care? When I deliver your portrait, I expect to see proof of this child's care. Any deviation from it, and I will be in contact with the authorities. So, Vincenta, do you happen to have the keys to Mr. Breslin's nursery? Nursery? Why do you say nursery? You're disappearing? Well, you disappeared. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I, I found Larry Curvin and I got the money off the bastard anyway. Why don't you just stay with me for one more trip? I really can't show up in a poor state, especially when I'm looking at pictures of corpses. Well, at least let me walk you into town. You don't know what kind of dangers might be lurking out there. It's perfectly fine, Percy. I'm well able to enjoy a party responsibly while staving off the perils of opium addiction and being molested by a communist. I don't doubt it. Uh, I might see you soon, though. You might. Do you have to be so bloody dramatic, detective? Uh, at times, yes. Don't mind me. I'm just creeping around. Nothing to see here. Just Christ, your shit face, girl. I only had six strings, thank you. Seems like an um, interesting little gathering you're at there now, Miss Vickers. The widower Cannon isn't long celebrating after his wife took a head first dive down the stairs last month. Honestly, it wasn't even as exciting as that. You hardly saw any foreign nuisances passing obscene materials around, did you? Foreign nuisances? Like the British that you work for? No. Not like the British that I work for. The other foreigners. Ah, yes. The ones with the funny accents. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I think I'm fine on my own from here, detective. There you are now, Miss Nancy Vickers, from your affluent background. And sorting with the low source of the likes of that. Not sure your uncle would like to hear about it. I don't think my uncle would mind, detective. After all, he consorts with the lower sorts of all. <laughs> and where in the hell were you? Wouldn't that be returning? Quite rightly so. It's much too treacherous. Not what you said. Anne takes fight very easily. Anne? Anne the horse? Yeah, and I wasn't that talk about in that. Well, I doubt it was as treacherous as where we were, Carruthers. I know you've heard you. Be grateful, you miserable bastard. Thanks for helping me there, Carruthers, you know. It was, at least that was something. Just a little glimmer of hope. Here's the key to the nursery. You can let them out once they promise to behave. Mr. Bennett has it. We should have reported it. They did get locked up and away. <laughs> I suppose poetic justice is better than no justice. Remember when we used to say that our photographs were the real ghosts? Seen, observable. The soul of a person captured forever. Beyond the corporeal. After all, the morning is gone when all the graves go untended. Thank you. 